Stangibilisco here. Recently I have become too lazy to maintain my water softener to keep pouring that heavy, those heavy bags of salt into that thing and contending with the salt caking and buildup and everything and also the sort of slimy nature of the water that comes out of the tap when I employ that water softener. It's a conventional ion exchange water softener, they call it. The kind that, you know, you have a big tank and you fill it up with salt. You don't want to make it too full. You got to poke the salt down sometimes and eventually it runs out. But it, it removes that lime from the water. The water hardness is an informal term for it. Uh, calcium of some sort or another involved in it. You know the drill. If you have a very hard water in your location, you really know the drill if you don't have a water softener. But I've just become so sick lately and so constantly tired that I uh, find it difficult to deal with all of the things involved with home maintenance to the point where I'm thinking about selling my house and moving into an apartment and I found out how lucky I am to have a house especially in these economic times, these times of economic uncertainty that borders on the point of national government instability, but that's a topic for somebody else. I've tried to stay away from that. I'm sticking to water. I have found something called a water descaler or a uh, lime descaler and what it is is it's an, a device that puts an electromagnetic field into the water as it passes through the main pipe coming into the house. And it does that by means of a coil that you wrap around the pipe and that coil uh, apparently some sort of pulses of electronic uh, current pass through that coil creating this electro or electromagnetic field as you get around any coil and provided that the pipe will allow the passage of an electromagnetic field then it's supposed to alter the physical structure of the lime particles in the water. I don't know exactly what it does, how it alters the molecules, but it's supposed to make it so that instead of building up inside of your pipes and faucets and other water related appliances, uh, it develops this sort of it, it, it's easy to remove and it sort of slows off, sloughs off and uh, doesn't accumulate the way that it does ordinarily if you leave the water untreated. The water here in the black holes of Dakota Toritary, United States of Abomination, is in fact quite hard. has a lot of calcium uh, compounds in it. I don't know whether it's calcium carbonate or what exactly it is. But in any case, it's called lime, and the device is called a water descaler or a water conditioner as opposed to a regular water softener. There are a lot of different alternatives available for water softening, but this was a very interesting one and not very expensive, so I decided to install one. Now, from the point of view of a scientist, I'm skeptical as to how this could possibly uh, eliminate problems with lime buildup caused by hard water. But I read on the internet about lime uh, descalers or water descalers, water conditioners, and I read one brand in particular that's reviewed over 400 times on Amazon.com 
and most of the reviews are positive. Yes, it does work if you give it six months or so, uh, anywhere from six weeks to six months uh, before you decide whether or not it, uh, it is for you. It takes that long for the thing to really have an effect, apparently. Those negative reviews, those reviews that were negative, they, they basically just say, the thing doesn't work, I want my money back. But they didn't say how much time they allowed or anything like that. So I decided to ask my next door neighbor if he knew anything about them. He certainly has water of a similar nature to mine. And he said, oh yes, we did away with our regular water softener long ago and we use one of those things and we've been using it for years. And although it won't remove the minerals from the water, it alters them apparently so that you can wipe off the residue very easily and it doesn't build up. We haven't had any build up in our faucets and uh, dishwashing machine and laundry machine and, and water heater and other such things. We just haven't had any problems. And he's a, a pretty smart guy. He has a very elegant house and I don't think that he would allow such a thing to continue to be used if it didn't work. He uh, maintains his property uh, meticulously, has a beautiful garden in his backyard, uh, wonderful fellow. He uh, was the realtor who sold me this house, as a matter of fact. But he is now 80 years old, and uh, I don't think he'd want particularly care to lift bags of salt either particularly if it's so much cheaper and easier to get the desired effects using one of these. And he said that if you pour your water in a glass and then you let it stand for a while, you can actually see the particles of mineral accumulating a little bit in the bottom. You can see the particles loose in the water. They do not dissolve in such a way as to make it possible for them to cause lime buildup the way that you ordinarily get if you go without any water treatment at all. So, I have a question for you. What is your experience, if any, with these things? Or I should, I should rephrase that. If you have one, or have tried one, what has been your experience? Positive or negative? Yay or nay? I really want to know. And I'll bet some other viewers out there do too. So, Happy New Year! A few days old yet. Hope for the nation! God knows how many days old yet. And hope for the water! Forever and ever, amen. Stan Gibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.